weeks of rehearsals and hours in the cockpit, all leading to just a few moments above Buckingham Palace. The flypast is a firm favourite in royal occasion, and in the days before the coronation, those flying for the king know the value of their role in the ceremony. Crew Captain Billy Cooper is station commander here at RAF Coningsby. We see a lot of these events, don't we? Be they parades and or flypasts, um, but nobody ever tires of these things. Um, we know from experience that everybody really enjoys the aircraft coming down the mall. Everybody loves to see the typhoons. Everybody loves to see the red arrows. And it's a real sense of togetherness, I think, and pride in our nation. When the day of the coronation arrives, an army of aircraft enthusiasts parachute in from across the country, itching to see some action. Well, it's a special day, but I don't usually fly on a Saturday. I'm just here to, to see the aircraft take off, ready for the coronation. We come down quite often, but it's nice to see so many people here as well. I, I just want to get as much of it on film for future generations. With 60-plus planes and choppers, including the iconic Spitfire and Lancaster bomber listed to fly, the schedule is packed. But it comes with one unwelcome addition, the rain. And as it begins to pour, doubt the flypast will go ahead washes in. Well, it's unfortunately, it's rather, atro uh, uh, rather atrocious here, but what's it like in London anyway? It's very, very wet, and uh, yeah, I think uh, it's not going to happen. There's a bit of bright sky on the way, so we're kind of keeping an eye on that. <laughs> I can't feel it under this umbrella, anyway. <laughs> and then comes the sound of engines, followed by movement as jets head for the runway. One after the other, Typhoons launch into the sky, 22 in total, heading toward London. In the capital, though, the weather gets worse. As the king and queen emerge on the balcony, the flypast is scaled back for safety, abandoning the Battle of Britain memorial flight. Still cheers from the crowd as helicopters cross the sky, until the roar of the red arrows streak red, white and blue above the city. Signalling the end with fewer planes than planned, the joy on the ground glides only higher. Will Hollis, GB News.